I should have bought that other purse too. Oh, honey, you got a lot of nice things. <laughs> Which reminds me, I need my credit card back. Oh, of course. Here you go. Actually, I think I'm gonna hang on to it in case I need to buy some more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, welcome in. Sorry for the wait. Um, here's your water. It's about time. Talk about bad service. Beverly. What? No, no, you're right. I am so sorry. I'm the only one working today, so we've just been a bit backed up. It's perfectly fine. We understand. Uh, I'll take the Mandarin Crunch Salad. Excellent choice. And for you? Just get me the same, but hurry it up. We don't have all day. You got it. Here you go. Thank you. That wasn't nice. Who cares? She's just a waitress. I mean, how hard can that job be? Well, you wouldn't know, would you? You've never worked a day in your life. Whatever. So my friends and I were thinking about going to Hawaii next month. Is that okay? How much is that gonna cost? I don't know. I was planning on using your credit card. Oh. All right, um, here is your salad. Thank you so much. Of course, enjoy. Wait a second. Are there sunflower seeds in here? Uh, yes, they come with the salad you ordered. Are you trying to kill me? I'm allergic to sunflower seeds. Oh my gosh, I, I am so sorry. I had, I had no idea. Um, uh, maybe you should have asked. I mean, you have a minimum wage paying job. How hard can that be? Beverly, stop. It's not her fault. I should have never let you order the salad. I just spaced out. Her job is hard enough. Besides, you didn't eat any. You're fine. Don't make excuses for her, Mom. <coughs> Bring me another salad, and I expect you to remove this from the bill for the inconvenience. Absolutely. Right away. I'm so sorry. How could you treat her like that? You wouldn't want anybody to treat you like that, would you? Oh, please. She should know how to do her job. It's not rocket science. That was good. Here's your change. Thank you so much for coming in. And again, I truly, truly apologize for the mix-up. I, I probably Don't even didn't. worry about it. It wasn't a problem. And all of this is for you. Wow, really? Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, what? No. She took forever with our order and then tried to poison me. Beverly? Give that back. Fine. You want a tipper? Then here. And you should be thankful. That's a lot more than you even deserve. Beverly! What? No, no, um, it's okay. It's totally fine. <sighs> she couldn't even do her simple job right. You know, being a waitress isn't easy. You never know how hard someone's job is until you do it yourself. Oh yeah? And how would you know? Because I used to be one. Before I started my business, how do you think we were paying the bills? By me waiting tables, that's how. Really? Ew. Well, it's a good thing you have money now, so I'll never have to worry about doing that. And that is the problem. I am taking my credit card back. Oh, how am I supposed to pay for things? By getting a job. It's the only way you're going to learn the value of hard work. Uh, are, are you serious, Mom? No, you can't do this to me. I am serious. You put the money back and let's go. Beverly can't believe what just happened and follows her mom out. Now that Beverly can't use her mom's credit card anymore, she has no choice but to look for a job.
She ends up getting hired as a waitress at a new restaurant that just opened up. Everything seems to be going fine. That is, until she has to take on multiple tables at once and gets yelled at by angry customers for taking too long with their orders. No matter how hard she works, customers just expect more and more out of her and she can't seem to do anything right. Beverly starts to get really stressed out. After working so hard and taking care of all of her customers, she hardly has even anything to show for it. She now understands how hard being a waitress really is. And then a few months later, she happens to run into her old waitress. So my friends and I decided not to go to Hawaii. It's so expensive. <laughs> well, it's a lot different when you have to pay for things yourself, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, welcome to... Oh, um... I know you didn't like my service last time. Want me to get someone else? No, please. I'm actually really sorry for how I treated you before. You are? Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Would you like the same salads as last time? Yeah, that would be amazing. <laughs> oh, but please don't forget that. I know. No sunflower seeds. <laughs> Yes, thank you for remembering. I'll be sure to leave you an extra big tip this time. <laughs> wow, honey. I am so proud of you. You know what? I'm gonna let you have my credit card back. Really? Oh my gosh. Actually, it's okay, Mom. It actually feels really good working for everything that I have. Thank you, though. <sighs> hey there, that's gonna be fourteen ninety-two. Ah, uh, yeah. Mom, I need twenty bucks. Make sure you tip him well. There you go. Thank you, and here you go. How much change would you like for that? What is this? Pepperoni and pineapple. Isn't that what you ordered? Who puts pineapple on a pizza? Do I look like a sociopath? I asked for pepperoni. I, I, I'm really sorry. Um, would you mind just taking off the pineapple or I could also go back to the store? I'm not gonna do your job for you. Go get me a new one. Absolutely, I'm just gonna need to. You guys like pineapple? <laughs> yeah, I'll have some. I love pineapple. Gross. I'm sorry, but can I get that pizza back? My boss is gonna make me pay for it if I don't. Take another slice before I give it back. Here. And hurry up. I'm starving. For sure. I'll be back as soon as possible. Again, I am really, really sorry about... Did you leave him a nice tip? No. I didn't even pay him. The moron put pineapple on my pizza. I told him to get me a new one. Okay, Derek, we don't call people that. What? He's a delivery driver. I mean, how hard is it to get a simple order right? You know, most jobs are harder than they look. You would know if you ever had one. <laughs> Whatever. Besides, it probably wasn't even his fault. I don't care. All I know is he better get it right this time. <sighs> Man, I can't believe your mom's gonna give you a Beamer for your birthday. Yep, we already ordered it. I got the metallic blue just like that pick. Finally. About time. Yeah, I'm so sorry about that. I was running a little bit late because I had a pothole on the way over here. And... Spare me the details. At least you got it right this time. Great. Um, that'll be $14.90. This pizza's frozen cold. I'm not paying for this. Look, I'm really sorry, all right? I got a flat on the way over here and I had to run with my bike. You know what, that's just my fault. I don't mind paying for it, but you could keep it and just maybe throw it in the oven or something. I'm not cooking my own pizza. I don't care if it's free. Hurry up and get me a hot one before I call your manager and complain. Of course, yeah. 
I'll be back as soon as possible. I can't believe that guy. What'd I miss? He's about to face off against Rhino. Let's go. Suns in six? No way. Not unless Devin Booker actually learns how to play defense. Finally. Hi, so I double checked and I made sure it's pepperoni. Also, I, I, I took an Uber on the way over here to make sure that uh, it's nice and warm. Let me see. Yeah. You jit me. What do you mean? Each slice usually has three pepperonis on it. This one only has two. Oh, uh, I'm sure that just varies from pizza to pizza and they would never intentionally do that. You sure you didn't eat my pepperoni? No, I, I would never. Mm-hmm. I'll take it, I guess. There's 20. Thanks. How much change would you like? I'll take five back. But the total comes out to be 14.92. I know what the total is. You should feel lucky you're getting any tip at all with how bad your service is. You're right. I'm really sorry about it. Did you just slam the door in that boy's face? Uh, yeah, but he deserved it. Derek, that is not how we treat people. Especially after he worked so hard to get your pizza right. Well, if he would have just done it right the first time, he wouldn't have to keep coming back. <sighs> you see, that's what your problem is. What are you talking about? You think everything is so easy because you've never had to work hard for anything. Mom, my friends are here. Can we just talk about this later? No, I think they should hear this. Well, you're sitting here watching TV all summer and complaining about how many slices of pepperoni are on each pizza slice. That boy is out there working hard. It's real easy for you to ask me for money, but it's a whole lot harder when you have to earn it yourself. Maybe you should get a job delivering pizzas so you can see how it is. <laughs> yeah, like that would ever happen. I am serious. You don't know how hard someone's job is until you do it yourself. It's real funny, Mom. Anyway, back to the game? No. It's either that, or I take away your PS5, I take away your allowance, and you won't be getting a car for your birthday. You can't do that. We already ordered it. Well, I will just call the dealership and tell them I changed my mind. So, what's it going to be? You can't lose that car, bro. Yeah, you're getting a Beamer. That's like insane. Just do whatever she says. Fine, I'll get a job for a month, but that's it. <laughs> we'll see if you even last a week. Derek reluctantly agrees to get his first job. A few days later, he starts working at a local restaurant. His first assignment? is to deliver pizzas. Things seem to be going fine in the beginning. That is, until he starts to deal with rude customers. They get upset about him getting the pizza wrong, how long it took to deliver, or bringing cold food, even though none of it was Derek's fault. Derek finally understands how difficult it is to have a job. Hey, honey. How was work? It was all right. I just got home. Oh. Well, I have to say, I am surprised at how long you've lasted. Are you hungry? I'll fix you some supper. That's all right. I ordered us food. I got enough for both of us. Okay, great. Uh, how much do I owe you? Don't worry about it. This one's on me. Wow. Hey, I got your uh, large pepperoni pizza. And don't worry, I double checked it this time, so. This has pineapple on it. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here's a 20. Keep the change. 
Really? I know how hard your job is. I felt really bad about the last time. Sorry about that. Thanks. Really means a lot. Have a great one. It's like I don't even know who this new Derek is anymore. Thanks, Mom. Now let's eat. Oh, and I was thinking... Don't tell me you don't want the Beamer anymore. Now you're going way too far. I was just thinking maybe black instead. Oh, yeah. I think black would be nice. Have a seat. I'll bring him right out. Hey! Watch where you're going, man. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know how expensive this suit is? Much more than you can afford. You're probably right. I'm really sorry, sir. Some people. Anyway, um, let me get um, three slices of cheese. We have a five for five dollar deal if you want to add two more. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Great, have a seat. I'll bring them right out. What the heck? Okay, five slices of cheese. Great pizza, right? This is unbelievable. Really? You're gonna take the last slice of pizza? No. Oh. Sounds like you're hungry. There you go. That is disgusting. What is wrong with you? You know what? You should be ashamed of yourself. You should go out and get a job instead of eating other people's food. Here's your pizza, sir. No, no, no. No, you already dropped mine off. Oh, that was his pizza. He ordered the same thing. Oh my God, that was your pizza. Yes, it was. I'm so sorry. That whole time I, I thought you were eating my, my pizza. And, and then you, you split that last slice in half. But why? Well, I may not have much, but I'm always happy to share. I shouldn't have been so quick to assume. Please, please, have some of mine. I'm more than happy to share. <laughs> and that's why I want to be a beauty influencer when I grow up. Because I've got the looks and the personality. Okay, thanks Avery. Now let's have Priscilla go next. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Avery. Nice job, pepperoni face. <laughs> pepperoni face. All right, settle down, class. Uh, when I grow up, I actually also want to be a beauty influencer so that I can- Wait, what? <laughs> you want to be a beauty influencer? <laughs> but you've got pimples all over your face. <laughs> Avery. That's not nice. I know, but I want to show people that it's your imperfections that make you beautiful. 
<laughs> what would you know about beauty? Maybe you should just deliver pizzas, pepperoni face. <laughs> Avery, that's enough. Good one. So embarrassing. Hey guys, it's Priscilla the Pimple Popper, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about moisturizing your skin. Look what we have here, ladies. It's Pizza Face Priscilla recording a beauty tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe she actually thinks people want to watch her. <laughs> yeah, her skin is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe if you washed your face, you wouldn't have so many pimples. Well, I, I do wash my face, but acne isn't something you can always control. Anyone can get it, even you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I've never gotten a pimple in my life. You know, maybe you should go wash your face again. What? But why? Record this. Well, because you've got pizza all over your face. <laughs> <laughs> now your pepperoni face for real. <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah, look. Well, because you've got pizza all over your face. <laughs> it runs so away good. so fast. <laughs> 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 there she is. Oh my gosh, how embarrassing. <laughs> what's so funny? <laughs> I'll tell you what's so funny. You know that video of you getting pizza in the face? I posted it on TikTok. It already has 7,000 views. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you would do that. Come on. Who says they want to be a beauty influencer when their face is covered in pimples? <laughs> beauty is not about being perfect or having flawless skin. Like I said, it's your imperfections that make you beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your skin's not so perfect either. Looks to me like you have a breakout coming. Avery stands there devastated. She can't believe she got her first pimple. The next day, Avery wakes up to find herself having a complete breakout. She can't believe what's happening. At school, she tries to hide it, but she can't. The whole class starts to make fun of her when they see her face including her own friends. Avery is so embarrassed and runs to the bathroom crying. And then Priscilla happens to see her. Hey, are you okay? No, I can't believe I'm breaking out. Everyone's laughing at me. Hey, don't let anyone else's opinions get to you. Besides, acne is totally normal. A lot of kids our age get it. But I've always had perfect skin. And now, I look so ugly. I'll never be a beauty influencer. That's not true. Besides, remember what I said. Priscilla? Oh my God, I watch all of your TikToks. You do? Yeah, every other influencer makes it seem like you have to be all perfect to be beautiful. But I love how real you are. You're like my favorite beauty influencer. Thank you so much. See, you can still be a beauty influencer with acne. Because? It's your imperfections that make you beautiful. Exactly. Wow. I'm so sorry for everything. All this time, I thought I had to look perfect. Thank you for helping me to see that I'm beautiful no matter what. Hey guys, it's Priscilla the Pimple Popper, and today I have a very special guest here with me. Hey, it's Avery the Acne Assassin. And, and today, today we're, we're here, here for another skincare tutorial. tutorial. But wait, aren't you missing something? I don't think so.
That's better. <gasps> Let's start today with a dad joke. What's the leading cause of dry skin? A, a towel! towel. <laughs> this is the second time this week your son has been Being late. a mom all by myself, you know? Well, everybody knows a child needs a mother and a father to be successful. Just because he doesn't have a father does not mean he won't be successful. The truth hurts.